this is the Men of War Assault Squad League, hosted by Triumph, who is joining me today, and the players as well, uh, joining us is Staker and Thompson Nagan. So, Triumph, is there anything you really want to say? Get right on it, just quickly. Well, first off, this game between uh, Stecker and Thompson should be really intense. They've been practicing against each other a lot for the sake of being able to smash other players in the face for <laughs> points. So, uh, I, uh, how have the practices been going? I know there's been uh, some waiting, but what are, what are the practices? Uh, like Anything specific from the practices that have been good, memorable, noticeable? Well, the thing is, players don't really get the opportunity to 1v1 each other very much, and usually, if you try to get a 1v1 in the lobby, it's going to be reloading point or something unusual. Here, it's a map that they are both familiar with. This is Bukaj. I'm sure a lot of players have played it, you know, 2v2. And for the league, there are maps like Farmland and other ones that people just know. So here they're trying to exploit the map as much as they can, and it's leading to some really unique things. In practice, we saw the unexpected bofers in um, the farm side of this map. We're seeing a lot of grenade moves uh, to kill the potential for LMGs to rip apart the middle. <laughs> well, at the moment, there's lots of action in the middle. I noticed that both Thompson and Staker sent, like, a huge focused force into the center, and Thompson and Nagan has just smashed all the way to the houses at the front of Staker's sort of area of the map from the central part of the map. Uh, and then Thompson Nagan also cut across from the right-hand side from the flank, bringing across two soldiers to come and grenade. And uh, again, devastating quite a lot of infantry with those early grenades. So this is quite different from the games I've already seen from Thompson and Seika. There's lots of elements of like, differences and contrasting playstyles uh, just in the early engagements already. So these houses being occupied, I don't consider them like a very good place to occupy though. It's in the top floor of that house. They're just kind of stif sitting there. It's like, I noticed one's actually firing down, managing to hit one of the soldiers through the windows, but what the hell? <laughs> they don't seem like good positions to me. Well, the thing is, in games before, we were seeing players pop an LMG into a window, and it would just dominate the middle, and now they're adapting their game to actually counter that. Are you suggesting that Thompson is trying to deny that window just by putting Definitely. soldiers in it? Definitely, but there is a little thing you have to consider. If uh, Stacker can put an LMG in the right spot, he might actually be able to shoot through the windows on the ground floor. Of course, I that have, won't I'm not too familiar with that. It. There are some. Sh there were some shotgunners. That was fantastically grenaded. Staker, oofing. Yeah, that was painful for him. Losing four soldiers over there, especially his shotgunners, his prized, prized shotgunners. Uh, I, 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 I find that odd that they were on the left-hand side of the map rather than fighting it out in the middle in close quarters. The AT rifle taking out the half track that crashes. It's going to add some cover for Staker if we're going to look on the bright side of life. But other than that. Thompson Nagan certainly ahead of his game now, like uh, looking very, very strong on both central and right hand side of the map. Tell me how it's hey. over there. Well, right now, he doesn't really have anything on the farm side of the map, and it doesn't look like he's going for that 50 cal from the half track. Did Stacker grab the 50 off there? Yes, he did. Well, then it looks like he might be able to try to push on to middle if he's got that 50 cal in a position where it can do something. Right now he's trying to take over the beach side, but Thompson's answering with uh, assault rifles. He's been assault spamming, and it's been used to great effect because he's just so aggressive. Uh, loads of grenades from those assaults as well. Uh, I've noticed, though, Thompson just took out about 30 seconds ago the 30 cal machine gun guy and he's just sitting there in front of Thompson Nagan's view he could go pick that up if he so chooses uh, Staker did this in the last few matches as well he really seems to be quite rigid in his strategies and tactics like it seems very very similar to the plays he's done before Thompson has done something special he has gone for LMG uh, recycling by grabbing a motorcycle double L'ing it and grabbing the LMG off of it so that way he can get pay path and also match the amount of LMGs Stacker oh. with his 30 cow squads can pop out there. That payback exploiting. Oh. <laughs> but Staker, that, yeah, Staker knows uh, a lot about the payback and the way this works in the game as well so 
because it's just another reason why this game is going to be a pretty damn good matchup. But uh, in terms of like the entire league so far, because there's loads of other players, is there anyone else that we should really be keeping that eye on? Well, right now I think Camel has been playing, but we haven't yes. had too many people join up yet. There's just not a lot of word out about it right now. We're in our beta phase. We're doing that for the rest of February. Let's so be fair, be you did rush this. <laughs> I did rush it a little bit, but still, we need a to get the bit. word out there and make sure that there aren't any issues. And so far, the community's been helpful. They've been pointing out any sort of logical errors or balance errors. And I think we're at a really good format now. Uh, we got a Stuart moving out here from Staker. Uh, it seems kind of open on this right-hand side. Another wonderful grenade! Uh, it seems some of it just exploded onto that conscript squad. So... I, 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 again, Thompson Nagant just keeping his eyes all the time. Now, who's are these smokes, by the way? I'm not sure. I think it might be Thompson's, because I can see all of Sticker's unit. Is he uh, bringing I out any sort of anti-tank, by the way? Because this just seems, like, incredibly open for the Stuart to be. Well, there's a P3J waiting back at his spawn. Ah. So it's going to be the classic Stuart P3 matchup that we've been seeing so, so much of recently. The, uh, we did have, like, in some of the other games as well, a Pack 38 come out of here. I think that would be excellent. You can have... Uh, should be able to get a shot from behind what? on the, the, the opposite side. Like, you know where... Oh. The, the we've hill? got something good happening. Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Goliath is now coming across the bridge. Brandenburgers are attacking the farm side. All right, so what's the Goliath's intentions? I'm not sure. Well, right now it's just camping there. It seems like it will be used to take out a building or something. Well, in, again, to come back to earlier games, perhaps Thompson has learnt a valuable lesson from playing Staker. Uh, turret damage on the Steward, the P3J, finishes it off nice and cleanly, but... Staker has been very, very aggressive. He moves past uh, the point that he is. He goes up to those houses. A Goliath could be used to destroy those houses, but I'm seeing that would be like more of a problem for Thompson if he removes those own houses from his part of the map. Maybe, uh, maybe not. Yeah, that, I, that's what I consider. Well, Those houses are great for MGs. Well, in the middle of the map, we've seen players place Pumas and Stewarts behind uh, the two structures, but salmon pink, reddish sort of houses. <laughs> and if those houses on Stacker's side are cleared towards his spawn, he can then try to use the Puma or the P3J. We need an accurate effect. grenade from Staker to hit that Goliath, but he now knows that that exists, and that's just charging down the middle of the map. Where's it gonna go and stop? Perhaps it's going to destroy the enemy houses and deny them, but Stecker hasn't really used them so much, so I don't think it's really a big deal for him other than just to hide behind it. Oh, it's going to maybe take out this conscript. Uh, assault Squad Leader, rather. Yeah! Yeah, it's a bit much for the, uh, the Assault Squad Leader, but it does take out a lot of the houses as well. Limited cover to hide behind. A second Stuart has made its appearance, and... It needs to be a little bit more careful now, because losing two stewards I don't foresee as being a good thing. At this moment in time, anyway. Think about the LMGs for uh, Thompson's side. He can now pop those. Oh, he could even shoot through uh, the bottom windows with a P3J into the mid, if the steward decides to pop out. Would be a heck of a shot, I would say. I don't know where the P3 is currently laying around, though. Uh, oh! Crap, no, Stuart's tank has been taken out by a Brandenburger just on the flank. The tank crewman executing him, though, looked freaking awesome again. But Thompson Nagan, 38, 39 points, 2-0, winning Staker so much right now. It's certainly a different game. This practice has helped him a lot. Go on, Triumph. Go on, I'm going to have a shower whilst you think of what to say. In fact, hang on, I found my Fabrice. Wonderful. Oh, brutal. Um, yeah, anyway, <laughs> he has got a T2-2 and a P3J. Uh, Stacker's now got the croc, so that might be the thing that carries him to victory. Oh, yeah. Uh, removing those buildings. Oh, his LMG can actually kill guys in the middle now. Beautiful. He, how many LGs, LMGs has he got in that building? It looks like two, perhaps three. He has two. He just ran one towards the side. Um, well, I think, uh, think HE shells from Staker should be able to take them out. He's trying to avoid that P3 the best he can because 
it happened before it can happen again p freeze can take out crocodiles but uh, has to be under the right conditions as well. HE shells inside the building, please. I'm not sure if he is using that, though. Uh, but yeah. Well, if he and fires the HE shell, then the P3J can try to come in and AP shoot. So let's see what happens. Are we, are we seeing this? Are we watching this unfold? I'm There's another sure vehicle coming out here, actually. It's a Greyhound. This could force the P3 to have to look one way or the other, allowing somebody to get the shot on the P3. The crocodile is going to go forward and start flaming everybody. There's so many corpses as well. Many, many corpses. Oh, nicely done. Unfortunately, though, the crocodile is just completely burnt out. The crew was injured on that J. What was taking that out, by the way? Was it the Greyhound which managed to get the crew injured? No, I saw one shot, I think, from the Greyhound hit the croc um, after it was hull damaged. And then the crocodile sure. sort of drove in front of the J, preventing it from being shot. <laughs> the second. Uh, all the vehicles are dying in absolutely atrocious ways, and there goes the crocodile fully exploding now. I think Staker just kind of TNTing that, perhaps. Um, all the buildings are on fire, it's good stuff, and just wanted to mention that, yeah, I got my Fabrizio was telling me that, or I was at least saying that, like, I've hardly had any time recently to do anything, and that includes washing, and you suggested to me that I should Febreze myself, which That's reminds me, trick. yeah, which reminds me, I, I do have Febreze with me, and it's called yeah. Mist and Refresh, and I not, no, no, the, the flavor of it, this is not anything to do with the league, I know that. We, we can see people battling it out until Staker captures the goddamn map. We think he might be able to uh, get back in with all this, but something I noticed is it's called soothing sandalwood. And soothing sandalwood is not something I can recall as being a smell. They may as well just call it it smells of time. So, like, what the fuck? I, I, I just don't fully understand this at all. But coming back to the game, however, we've got an M20 moving out uh, over to the right. And... I believe Thompson is going to win this now. Like, unless... I think Stake yeah, is going to gamble fly. his chances on the right-hand point, but there are so much infantry there to take care of. There goes the M20. The Up goes the middle point. Right point is 30% off being captured and no infantry in sight for Staker unless he wants to bust out some hero point infantry, bring it in with a half-track. I don't think he's going to arrive in time. Absolutely brutal. We have uh, use of paratroopers from Thompson in the middle to play defense and lock that down. He's just making all the right moves today and having uh, really good luck with his armor. <laughs> he is really locking this down. There's there's just no chance for Staker to come back into this game. GG. Definitely. So that is our, our awesome league game so far. That That's probably the one to showcase. But uh, have you enjoyed being here? We have more games to come, of course. Oh, I love it here. This is a best of three, right? I hope so. I hope so too. So, uh, we'll get right on that. Enjoy the highlights, guys. And from me and Triumph, ta-da, magic tricks. Yay. <laughs> Yay.